Hello guys, good morning. Uh, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest update for this weekend of uh, December 18 to 19, uh, Sunday to Monday. Uh, and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph shot which uh, shows you the approach of the uh, northeast monsoon. This is a surge of the northeast monsoon across uh, the northern and eastern sections of Luzon. And we have another brand new shear line of a departing frontal system. And it's also expected to bring some scattered to, uh, isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across uh, eastern sections of northern Kesson. Uh, Camarines Norte and later on in the uh, various sections of the Bicol region. So expect uh, some increasing winds of up to 50 kph along these areas and also some on and off rainfall, uh, light to moderate or at times heavy in uh, the areas affected by this shear line. And down south across Mimorapa, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, and Eastern Mindanao, there will be some rain showers and thunderstorms as well because of the northeasterly surface wind flow known as the weak Amihan. And uh, uh, so far, uh, that's the uh, latest on our graph set. Outside of power, we don't have any developing low pressure system. We just have here a new equatorial trough near uh, the equator. New equatorial trough. And so far, the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain uh, okay, particularly the western sections, except for some areas where the cloudiness from the northeast monsoon and the shear line, as well as the northeasterlies, will be uh, bringing also some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. That includes Metro Manila and some areas along uh, the western sections of the country. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, so there you go. Uh, the cloudiness generated by the shear line and the northeasterly wind flow here. And if we take a look at the uh, latest zoom in subtle animation from windy.com, there will be there are some uh, building thunderstorms right now along the shear line across uh, Camarines Norte. And it's, and it's expected to approach also in some areas of Camarines Sur, Albay, Sosigon, and Catanduanes in the next 24 hours. And Northeast Monsoon is now affecting Northern Luzon, Eastern Luzon, including Batanes, Pabu, and Cuba Islands. And uh, expect some increasing showers along the coastal waters of Cagayan uh, province. And some thunderstorms can also be observed along the western coastline of uh, Sambales as of this time. And also here across uh, eastern Visayas, particularly Leyte and uh, eastern Samar, there are some developing thunderstorms due to the northeasterly surface wind flow, as well as in the areas of uh, Shargao and Dinagat Islands and Surigao uh, del Norte. There are some thunderstorms lurking uh, around the corner. So uh, don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear uh, during the daytime. Okay. Uh, so that's the latest from our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. Now let's take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days until Tuesday. So right now here's the uh, surge of the uh, northeast monsoon. By uh, Sunday afternoon, before sunset, the northeast monsoon will start to move more to the south, affecting the coastal areas of the Bicol region, with some winds about up to 40 kph expected to reach uh, areas of uh, mainland areas of the Bicol region. And then on uh, Monday morning, the uh, northeast monsoon will start to uh, weaken a bit, but still affecting the eastern sections of Luzon, including uh, the coastal areas of the Bicol region. And that will still extend until Monday afternoon. And uh, by Tuesday, the northeast monsoon will start to weaken, only affecting the uh, northern uh, areas of uh, Luzon or over the coastal waters of uh, Cagayan Valley, including Batanes, Babuyan Group of Islands. Okay, and uh, we expect again another surge of the northeast monsoon to develop beginning Thursday, as you can see there, 
and is expected again to affect uh, portions of the Bicol region beginning uh, December 23, Friday, all the way until Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So we expect winds of 30 to 50 kph across the Bicol region and will extend further to the south of the zone or across northern and eastern Visayas come Christmas time. So expect winds again of uh, 30 to uh, 50 kph across the inland areas of uh, Luzon and uh, eastern Visayas. Okay, then uh, Monday, December 26th, still there. We still have the effects of the uh, northeast monsoon, uh, December 26th. Now, if you take a look at the rain forecast, Sunday afternoon we expect the... Uh, the shear line will affect uh, portions of the Bicol region and by Monday it will uh, still remain uh, over the Bicol region and what some showers and thunderstorms will also be expected across the Visayas because of the northeasterly wind flow and uh, on uh, Tuesday afternoon the uh, northeast monsoon will start to retreat more to the north and we are again uh, be experiencing some winds or warm winds from the easterlies affecting eastern Visayas and the Bicol region and some showers and thunderstorms will be expected and on Wednesday it will start to weaken but again another uh, surge of the northeast monsoon will be expected where the shear line will remain over the uh, Cagayan Valley area Thursday afternoon, December 22, the shear line will start to move down again towards the Bicol region. And on the afternoon of December 23, the shear line will be expected to affect the Bicol region with another surge of the northeast monsoon. And it will uh, continue to prevail across uh, the Bicol region, particularly the eastern sections, until uh, Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Day, the shear line will uh, move farther to the south, affecting eastern Visayas, Samar, and later provinces. So expect rainfall on uh, Christmas Day. And on Monday, December 26, that shear line will move farther to the south over southern Leyte, portions of the Visayas, which includes Cebu and Negros. Bohol will be affected by this shear line. Okay, so uh, once the shear line goes down further, this is due to the strengthening of the northeast monsoon. Now here over Bicol region, it's going to be windy with some showers, light rain, light drizzles expected uh, during Christmas Day. Okay, so far that's the latest from the rain uh, forecast. Here's the uh, rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days until uh, December 21. So these areas along uh, Cagayan Valley, eastern sections of Luzon, eastern sections of the Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and eastern Mindanao, those are rain with thunderstorms generated by the northeast monsoon and the shear line. Shear line is somewhere here. Okay, this is the effect of the shear line, while here is more of the uh, easterlies. Okay. It will uh, again regain uh, momentum within the next three days after Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, the uh, shear line will start to migrate more to the north. And the uh, uh, easterlies will also migrate slightly to the north and affecting the Bicol region come December uh, 20 and 21 through 22. Okay. And then uh, December 23. Shear line will again bounce back to the south, affecting Bicol region beginning December 24 to December 25. Okay, by December 25 to 26, it will be over eastern Visayas. Also, uh, as you can see here, portions of the Visayas and um, Palawan will also be affected with the rainfall generated by the northeasterly wind flow, and uh, which is more, uh, which will bring more rainfall because of the uh, uh, continuing uh, effects of the uh, La Nina. Okay, so uh, here's an example of the forecast from Meteorologics.com. Just type Meteorologics.com. This, uh, this is our former partner, uh, tech partner with uh, Weather Philippines way back in uh, 2018 to 2020. So it's a good site. You can type your cities here like uh, Manila, 
okay yeah it will appear and you can uh, quickly see a, a snapshot of the 14 day forecast for your respective uh, local uh, town or local city just uh, here's an example of it Naga City 14 days so so by tomorrow we expect a decrease of temperature from 30 degrees to 28 degrees that's the maximum so it will be from 24 to 28 but it's still not cool enough but on uh, uh, Christmas Day Christmas Eve it will go down to 23 up to 25 or 23 to 24 degrees because of the another surge of the northeast monsoon it's beginning to feel a little cooler in the next uh, one week okay because of the northeast monsoon and the sunshine duration will start to um, go down Monday Tuesday it will be uh, just a total of two hours and uh, look at it during uh, and uh, during Christmas Day it will be only around one to three hours of sunshine duration over Naga City and the probability of forecast we expect rainfall every day becoming uh, increasing uh, with rains and thunderstorms on tuesday december 9 december 20 and on friday and saturday december 23 to christmas eve there will be uh, some thunderstorms because of the shear line of a new approaching surge of the uh, northeast monsoon okay winds will also pick up up to 50 or 60 kph so so far that's the latest for this weekend and uh, we'll see you again on uh, monday to uh, give you the very latest on the northeast monsoon again this is mike padua have a pleasant uh, sunday a blessed sunday to all and stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser and thank you so much for watching our channel